Test drives at a high-speed track. Here, this camouflage duo circling around the oval track. The new Mercedes SLS AMG, a super sports car with a whopping 571 horsepower. What's special about this car? The SLS is no tuned version of a Mercedes series model. No, this is a high-tech race car, the first fully developed just by AMG. Zuerst brauchen wir natürlich das Konzept, die Idee. First, of course, you need a concept, an idea. And once we had that, then came the task. How to develop the car? What helped us enormously were our initial developments over the past years. We've developed many other things ourselves in Afalterba. Sure, one example, the C63. We added our own front axle, then developed our first very own engine, the 6.3 liter. Then for the SL63, the first transmission, etc., etc. So we have gained quite some skill and know-how, then consulted the parent company and colleagues in Zindelfingen about one thing or another, especially on issues like design and passive and active safety. Our colleagues supported us greatly. We have a great team working for us, and they are now out marketing this car to ensure it's successful. And here's the successful team evaluating the last test drives. For two years, the developers have been on the roads testing prototypes of the SLS. I think at the end of special testing, there are two main things which are important. On the one hand, the team has the chance to show what it has achieved and then to get the last advice on which steps still have to be taken. For me personally, it's important, since I get another chance to go through all the building components to figure out if we've reached the performance specifications originally defined, to be able to wrap up the development phase and continue on into the production stage. This spring, the Mercedes SLS AMG is already supposed to hit the market and be a perfect car all around. What else would you expect from the Mercedes-Benz in-house tuning company? They tested the living daylights out of this car, especially in America, under heat and cold, in thin mountain air, on asphalt, on dirt roads. The AMG team really put the SLS through some thorough testing. The SLS looks much like its legendary ancestor, the Mercedes SL300 from 1954. While in disguise, it's still hard to recognize the resemblance. The obvious link, though, between the two are the wide-opening gull-wing doors on both sides. The drive system for the two-seater is enthralling. The 6.3-liter V8 developed by AMG pumps out a mighty 571 horsepower to the rear axle, catapulting the 1.6-ton vehicle plus driver in 3.8 seconds from rest to 100. Acceleration allegedly doesn't stop until the needle hits 315. These are values you get only with a real super sports car. The engine's up front, the transmission directly at the rear axle, both connected by an ultra-light drive shaft made of carbon. This configuration leads to an ideal weight distribution of 48% in the front and 52 in the back. The dual-clutch transmission is also a product of AMG and shifts swiftly and smoothly through the seven gears. On a frozen lake in Ayeplog, Sweden, just south of the Arctic Circle, the car was tested mainly for its traction and chassis. AMG is out to obtain perfect driving dynamics with precise steering and first-class agility. Just looking at these pictures makes your mouth water for the Mercedes SLS AMG. How much fun it will really be to drive? We'll hopefully be able to test ourselves soon without the car being camouflaged. To buy one and bring it home, you'll need around 160,000 euros. Tschüss, TV.